In this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I've received via email as well as Facebook on some people that need some help with the A10 Mini and Easy Worship. So I'm just going to walk through the whole thing, install wor Easy Worship on this computer here at the church, hook everything up, and hopefully that'll answer your question. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I, like I said, I'm here at my church. I got my portable system here. We're just gonna walk through a basic setup of what you would need for running easy worship through the A10 Mini so that you can get stuff projected out on the screens and wherever else you want to do so this is going to be pretty basic we used to use easy worship here but we migrated to pro presenter maybe about four years ago so this is going to be brand new i'm actually going to be installing it on our presentation system and we're just going to go through everything all right so let's break out the a10 mini and get everything set up all right, so the very first thing, obviously, we need to have the A10 Mini set up, and it's gonna be a little difficult with one hand, but the main thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna input the camera that I'm recording with right now into input number one. Number two is going to be the input coming in from the computer. So as you see, I have dual screens right now, so what I'm gonna do is pull the cable off of this monitor and have it come in which will act as the second monitor now i'm not going to connect everything to our projectors but i am going to use the output to connect to this monitor right here to represent what the projectors would be all right so let's go ahead and do that all right so i actually cheated a little bit if i look here on the back of our computer right here this is get these cables out the way this is our graphics card so where you see the blue cable is what I have plugged into the A10 Mini and the other two cables to the left and right are going to these monitors. So this is gonna duplicate the same thing that's gonna be going to this screen, similar to how we currently have it set up. So there's the blue cable and the blue cable is there. It was just kind of easier to do it this way and it'll be easier for me to record the screen so y'all can see. All right, so I'm gonna transition to actually screen recording once I have this set up. So we're just gonna connect our USB-C into our system. Now, they didn't say anything about live streaming, but I'm just gonna consider that it is possible they will be live streaming, but it's easier just instead of hooking up a network cable and all that other fun stuff to just control the ATEM over USB-C. All right, so we got everything plugged in here and everything is looking nice here. Now, I had some other cables connected, but number one is this camera right here. And then number two is our desktop, which is monitor number one out of the three. So as you can see, there's nothing there. But if I drag this over so y'all can see. So you see we have three monitors here and this one is number one. Number three is what I am looking at right here to operate this. Number two has OBS on it, so that's what's recording this whole thing. So, so as y'all can see, now obviously you need to make sure that your computer is capable of multiple outputs for Easy Worship to work or any other presentation software. So let's close that and let's open up our browser here. And let's go ahead and go to easyworship.com. And let's download the demo because I'm obviously not gonna buy this. Now, I'm not going over this to do lower thirds and stuff like that because the premise is exactly the same on any of my other previous videos. This is just mainly to set this up. All right, so let's come in here. Now, by default, it should have picked up our other monitors. So let's come in here to options and let's see what we got. So we have our output, which is our secondary monitor, and it's picking up all three. And let's just make sure we're on the right one. And 
And no, that was this monitor. So let's switch that back. Yeah, so secondary is gonna be that one. And I'm gonna preview output. And as you can see, that's what it is. And if we switch over, is this to be on number three? So if we do live, I need to just find something to put out. All right, so that's live. So if we switch over, and now you can see the output. This is what's coming into monitor number three. And if we cut over to the output, that's this is what, I mean, I'm on this of a camera right now, three, but if we go to number two, which is the dedicated output, this is what you're seeing. So that's how that works. Really straightforward. You just have to have a dedicated input. Your computer is going to show it as if it is a secondary monitor. And you just have to make sure that, again, for me, it was monitor number three. Um, which is input number two on my A10 Mini. That's what Easy Worship is configured to output for. So I hope that, I mean, that's the premise of what I got out of the question that came. So if you, if you need more information other than that, please let me know. Um, like I said, this was gonna be really short because I thought it was just mainly on how to set this up because I think they were having some issues with that. And we might play around with this a little bit more to do lower thirds and stuff like that with um, the ATEM Mini because I did that with the big ATEM. So it's really the same, but we'll go over that if you want to. So if you have any other questions about the ATEM Mini, please hit me up. I'm everywhere at AJ the CEO. Leave them in the comments and I will get to them as fast as I can. So if you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video later.